So it's really sorry. that's how you're gonna start my movie. Sorry. God. I'm sorry. Uh, where are we? Oh, February the fifteenth is Saturday, and uh, I got home from work had a couple hours before the uh, before the sun would set. So I wanted to get the framework of the body here done on this golf cart. I got to get it out to the school so I could build the body panels for it, and the kids can paint it. And I waffled back and forth between using wood to build the uh, skeleton out of wood or do it out of metal. And I finally settled on EMT conduit, which is what I'm bending here. Um, I've uh, bent EMT conduit once or twice in my lifetime. I'm pretty good at getting bends and angles where I need them to be. So for $2.35 per 10 foot stick, I figured that was a pretty economical way to get a good framework done and uh, keep the weight down as well. So as I always do, and I bid things tight, I only brought four 10 foot sticks home and that's pretty much all I felt I needed. Uh, so I can't screw any of these bends up. Yeah, you know, I always like adding that extra layer of drama into my life instead of just spending an extra $4.70 and getting two more sticks. Um, you know, whatever. So <laughs> I had four, no errors. And you'll just have to watch the rest of the, my movie here to see if I made the errors. Um, yeah, just trying to get the the angles correct. I had a bunch of things to consider here. I had to make sure that the body panels, when attached to these pieces of conduit, would clear the pedals, right? You've got the two outboard pedals that, and legs, kids' legs that need to be clear. Uh, we had to make sure we cleared the steering components there to the front of the bicycle necks, those arms that hang down. Kind of made a weird little angle there. And I didn't want just a simple sloping hood. I kind of wanted that two section hood, just like a real golf cart, uh, which is overkill. I know, I get it. It's a high school play and uh, it is what it is. And I welded everything pretty solid, which is another thing too. It's, yeah, the, all this has to do is get through the production. You know, it's got to last through uh, three, six, nine or so actual shows, plus tech week and rehearsals and stuff. So it just has to last till April. But uh, of course, I, I welded everything all the way around, all the pipe all the way around, uh, complete radius welds, which is overkill, but that's just the way it is. And I'm actually using a tape measure on this one too, which is kind of funny, but I do want it to look square. It can't look cockeyed, and there's a kid handing out some flyers. Uh, it can't look cockeyed. This still has to look cool. So I'm kind of fiddling around with it. I've never built one of these before. And, uh, you know, there it is. I felt the movie was kind of drawn on, so I just kind of fast forwarded through all the other the other fabrication of the pipe. It's just bending pipe and welding tabs and stuff. It's really not that, uh, it's really not that exciting. And I did put a front bumper on it. I used some three quarter inch EMT conduit because I thought it was a little beefier than the half inch. I had some scrap laying around. So you'll see there on the front, I've made a little bumperette which is uh, pretty solid as you can see. It may come in handy if the kids crash into stuff. I'm kind of hoping they don't. It's more for adding some depth and dimension to this project and not just having a blunt nose. So I've got to take it for a ride, of course. Of course I do, of course I do. So off I go. And wait, and now go. And as if I haven't already done this a couple times, for some reason I like doing this until, oh yeah, oh yeah, I thought I was going over for sure. But I was able to step out of it, fortunately, didn't hurt myself any. It's because I'm an idiot. I'm going to try this uh, at least two more times. So I'm gonna oil up the chain. The chain, this thing's been sitting out in the rain for <laughs> what, two weeks now? Week and a half, two weeks. Chain started resting up a little bit, so, and look at that, look what I just did to my best pants. Those are my church going pants. Daggone it. Oh well, get back to work. Oil these chains, make sure the bike works well. And uh, here's how I fix those sharp ends. I could have taken a grinder to the ends of the pipe, but there was a grind. There was no grinder in sight for today's project. It was all a bandsaw, a welder, and a pipe bender, and that's about all I had. Everything had to fit, so I took some black electrical tape, and I just wrapped the ends to get that sharpness out of there. It's cool. It's all cool. Taking my sweet ass time. I could have probably fast forwarded through this now that I'm watching the edit. Sorry. 
think there's some other fun stuff here that I have. Really? I'm going to make you guys watch me taping up both ends? You notice, I, you notice I do wrap it counterclockwise? That's a plumber in me right there. Although I'm not a plumber, that's how you wrap the Teflon, the thread tape, whether you're using the blue tape or the white tape, or even the yellow tape if you're doing gas lines. That's the way you wrap them. I don't know, it's just to have it. I tore my best pants. Okay, we're gonna go for another rip up and down the street. Or am I gonna try to flip over again? I think I try to flip over again. I'm such an idiot. I mean, really, really. If I can't break it, I figure the kids can't break it, so what the hell. And my best buddy Newman. We're going to end this video with me, a boy and his dog. How about that? We're just being silly. He's been cooped up all day. I don't let him come out when I'm welding, because my luck, he'll stare at the light, and the last thing I need is a blind dog. So whenever I'm welding or fabbing, oh, he did puppy, I, uh, he's got to go inside. I don't need him stepping on any shrapnel of metal either as it lays about. But he's a good boy. Ten years old, still thinks he's a puppy. Ten and a half now. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, it's ten and a half years. Time flies. We got him as a youngster. Ten years ago. Well, I appreciate you guys watching part two of how to build a golf cart. I'm going to get some panels built for this either tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, likely, I'm going to take it over to the school tomorrow because it's supposed to be raining. And I'll do the thermoply uh, body panels out over there. And uh, I'll get you guys a kind of a part two and a half that shows how this thing came out complete. So I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. I really, really do. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. See ya.